Are you confused about AM, PM, and military time? Here's a quick way to remember it. For all AM times, you keep the same hour when you transfer it over to military time. Just add a zero in front if the hour is a single digit. 6 AM, 0600. 10 AM, 10 hundred. You don't need a zero in front of that one. Now what about PM? What you do is you add that hour to 12 to get your military time. If it's 3 PM, you're gonna take that three and add it to 12 to get 15. So 3 p.m. is 1,500 hours in military time. What about 11 p.m.? It's p.m., add the 11 to 12, that's 2,300 hours. So now if we think about going backwards, what about if you have 0,700 hours? That seven is less than 12, so it's automatically an a.m. time. We don't change anything, 0,700, 7 a.m. But what about 1,600 hours? Since the hours are greater than 12, subtract 12 from it, 16 minus 12 is four, but we automatically make it PM because the hours were greater than 12 in our military time. So what about 20 hundred hours? That's greater than 12, so automatically PM, take the 20 minus 12, that gives you eight. So 20 hundred hours is 8 PM. Midnight can be referred to as four zeros, zero hours, or 2400 hours. 2400 hours is typically referred to as the end of the day, whereas the four zeros, it's the same thing, but that's referred to as the beginning of the day. Don't confuse that with noon. Noon is 12 p.m., 1200 hours. So quick recap, a.m., same hours, military time. If you have a p.m. time, add 12 to that to get your military time. But what about if you have military time? If it's greater than 12, subtract 12 from it, automatically PM. If the military time hours are not greater than 12, that same hour automatically transfers to an AM time. Midnight, four zeros or 2,400 hours. Noon, 12 PM or 1,200 hours. Now you're a time pro. Check out www.becraftmath.com for more math tips and videos. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful.